Hi, thanks for meeting with me. I appreciate your time. During a conversation this week, I was asked, what changes should I be willing to make to keep my partner happy? We all have a lifestyle that we've developed over the years that makes us feel comfortable. Our routines and habits came together because of the decisions we've made based on what makes us happy. Then there comes a day, often the first week of January or when our birthday arrives, when we look in the mirror or step on the scale and realize those comfortable habits haven't done us any favors in our looks or health. It's time for a decision. Do we stay comfortable or work to be our best selves? We've all heard that famous quote from Theodore Roosevelt, do what you can with what you have where you are. We should all strive to achieve our fullest potential every day. Not taking care of your body, mind, and emotional health to the best of your ability is like having the collected knowledge of the World Wide Web available to help you learn all there is to know about life and all you do with it is watch cat videos. If you look at dating as the search for the best mate possible for both the man and the woman, then you realize it's a competition. The winners will end up in a relationship with those prospects who have the top qualities that everybody wants. We all want to find somebody who is emotionally, physically, and mentally strong and healthy. To be worthy of the most beautiful, nicest, and most intelligent woman available, a man must be at his very best. Most guys will put their best foot forward by keeping healthy, looking their best, and displaying a positive, open attitude. That will give them the widest range of options when it comes to choosing a woman to date. But what happens after the relationship is formed and the couple is exclusive, living together or married? When we're living together, it's fun and easy to spend our evenings sitting on the couch in front of the television, eating snacks and having a drink with our partner. My husband and I love to binge on Netflix and snack on popcorn whenever possible. It's like a mini date we can have several times each week with no effort or planning. When we're single and looking for that perfect relationship, we tend to work on our appearance to present the best possible partner we can be. Frequent workouts, healthy eating, dressing for success, and going out to meet new people can get exhausting. So when we find the right person and settle down, we let go of the healthy eating, exercise, and being our best selves because the big competition is ended and we can finally relax. But what happens if your partner comes to you with a request to be a little less relaxed? Say she wants you to quit an unhealthy habit like smoking or drinking soda. Many of us would feel defensive or as if we're being micromanaged by such a request. But if we're willing to quit or curtail bad habits when we're dating, then what changes in us that makes us rebel when the person who loves us the most asks us to make the extra effort to be our best selves? Often our partners are hesitant to approach us with suggestions to improve our health, such as stop smoking or drinking, go to the gym or eat healthier. They know that responses like, you knew I was like this when you married me, or, well, you have some bad habits too, may enter the scene and cause hurt feelings. While those things may be true, it doesn't do anybody any good to go there. It's important to remember that your partner loves you and wants you to be healthy, happy, and ready to have fun every day. That's why we need to listen with an open mind. If I had a life coach that told me to visit the gym three times a week and stop drinking alcohol, it would make sense because I saw the need to have that coach in my life to tell me the best path to follow for success. The people who love us, whether that's family, friends, or a spouse, know us really well and they want what's best for us. They can be our own personal life coach if we only listen with an open mind. So if you are approached with love and concern for your health, listen and try not to be defensive. 
Calmly thank that person for caring and say you'll give it some serious thought, and then process the information. Decide if giving up those habits will improve the quality and longevity of your life. Then take action. That usually starts with a visit to your doctor to get the best medical advice for whatever issues you need to address. Share that advice with your partner and get the support you need to make the necessary changes. Take it a step at a time and you should begin to look and feel better and stronger and everybody wins. The best gift we can give our life partners is to keep ourselves healthy and strong so we can take care of our own needs throughout our lives. If you are the one in the relationship with the healthy habits and you would like to encourage your partner to be healthier, set a good example and invite her to join you as often as possible. We do emulate those people with whom we spend the most time. Married men live about 10 years longer than unmarried men. And that's because having a supportive partner to keep an eye on your well-being can encourage you to take charge of your health. In fact, married men are happier, healthier, wealthier, and having really great sex. I want you to live a long and healthy life, whether you're in a relationship or single. So here's your homework for this week. Take a good look at your current health and the habits you have that support or negatively impact your health. If it's been more than a year since your last doctor's visit, schedule a checkup and talk to your doctor about any health challenges you may have. Come up with a plan to take whatever steps are necessary to be at your best physically, mentally, and emotionally. The best gift you can give yourself and those you care about is taking care of your health and being at your best. Be a role model for your family and friends and share your story with me in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to give me a healthy dose of encouragement, please visit my Patreon page and consider pledging a small amount each month to join our community, receive bonus perks, and support my work. And please take a moment now and subscribe. I'll be uploading at least one video each week with occasional bonus videos. Thanks for meeting with me. We'll talk again soon. Joe, can we freshen this up? The softer side.